Thanks, guys, down here with Holly Porter. Holly, you're the Top Gun Award winner for the Strickland Crate Division tonight. This is a pretty good deal for you to get your night started down here in Victory Lane. Hopefully you can uh, change up your luck from last week where you got taken off on the hook. Uh, what can you do to turn your luck around tonight, Holly? Uh, well, my luck didn't go so great in the redraw. I just drew 8 of 8, and uh, I tend to do that a lot. I did that at Merrittville as well. Well, not so great in the redraw. You'll have to get a designated drawer for you. But congratulations, Top Gun. It's always cool when you can start off tonight with some extra money. Yeah, I'd like to thank our sponsors, like, you know, the track and Case IH, Tommy's Motors, and Stonehouse. There you have it. Holly Porter, your champion from last year, ladies and gentlemen. And she is tonight's Ackland Insurance Top Gun Award winner for the Strickland Crate Division. Back up to you guys for a minute while we wait for the rest of our... And most of all, the fans, when... Everyone can get together and, and create this unification. Well, and to me, I'm, I'm glad they did it with many stocks. It's great racing. Thunder stocks, it was necessary. That, that's the best racing in Canada. Well, guys, if I can jump in down here, I've got DJ Christie, our first ever Gales Auto Aftermarket Performer of the Week from the drive last week. DJ, your crew, uh, you, you broke a, dr a drive shaft in the qualifying heat. Your crew thrashed to get you ready for the B. We didn't think you were going to make it. You come through the B to start 20th in last week's action sprint to a crate feature and you end up here on the podium third place. How cool was that? Oh, that was awesome. That was my first time ever on the podium at our Sweden Speedway, so that was just a great experience for me and all, my, all the guys standing behind me and all my sponsors. Now, we always talk about the age of you youngsters. Tell the fans out there how old you are, DJ. I'm 16 years old, and I've been driving since I was six. So a lot of experience out here. You having fun here on the dirt your second year? Yeah, I'm loving it here. It's the best race I've ever done. He's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. How about a hand for one of the upcoming stars here in the sprint car world, DJ Christie, our first ever. So the ones that you got on your way into the speedway. And before we announce that, we'll head it down to Lucas Oil Victory Lane with Clinton Jeffrey. All right, thanks, Greg. We're down here with our Nathan Acklin Top Gun Award winner tonight, Dylan Westbrook. Dylan, congrats. Two weeks in a row. Great start to your season here in the 47X. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we've had a real good start to the season. I'm real happy with the car and how everything's working out so far. What do you think of the track tonight? Polar opposite of what we had last week. It was uh, it was really chunky tonight. Going to be a bit dry, but it's, they've really tightened it up quite a bit. Yeah, the track's uh, great. Right now, it was a little little bit narrow in the heat race, but uh, by feature time, I think it's going to be great. There's going to be a high line and a low line. I think it's going to make for some really good racing. All right, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, your Top Gun Award winner for Nathan Ackland Insurance for tonight, Dylan Westbrook. All right, fan appreciation ticket draw. If you have any of these numbers, please go to the main entryway to claim your prize. First up, adult ticket, one, two, five. Oh, perfect. Thunderstock B so main is no more. We is no more. That. So it will be the crates and the minis, I believe, will be the two B mains tonight, coming up momentarily. I want to say a happy birthday to Lucas Bailey. So if you were here last week, you've seen this wall down in turn one and two was not in place for all the track work they did. The folks at Ace One Construction, Jason Hill and his crew spent a better part of a day here working on the wall to get it all put in here on the bottom one and two. So we thank Jay Hill and his staff from Ace One Construction for all their help to help get this wall in place down here at the bottom of turn number one. Thunderstock's getting ready to come out, guys. We're excited for a good one. I just want to let the fans know it will be a bit dusty and the plan was to get the moisture out. We had to really work the track and we asked for a hard packed one tonight. It will be a little bit dusty, but I can promise you next week it'll be 200% better again. Greg and Adam up in the tower, get ready to go for the Middleport Mechanical Thunderstock A main event. Well, and Greg, Clint mentioned it himself, Greg. <laughs> hit pit lane at about a hundred miles an hour and Bobby told us Bobby walking over to me now Bobby you're all right that's the main thing yeah I'm fine the car is pretty well junked at this point so. a lot of rear end damage on the 13 we'll take Bobby over and get him in the medics he'll have to go for a quick corner time. of my eye I thought he was headed straight 
before the wall of the car did blow up, but it was a violent shot to the left side. There you can see on the video camera, at least for those watching at home, the left rear hanging off. Well, Bobby, you want to let you want to let your boys and uh, family know you're all right. That's the main thing. Yeah, we're all good. We'll bring her back next. Order of the one, Sean Evans in the 87. Oh, Josh Hansen in the 88. Hang on to it. That could have been much, much worse than it was. I think Josh Hansen will be in the 29. Brad Heron in the 12 runs second. Jesse Costa third in the 52. The one of Holly Porter is fourth. Sean Evans in the 87 is fifth. Anna Farrell in the four is sixth. Then is Lucas Smith in the 49. Jacob Green. Ryan Beagle's so fast. Finally getting it out. Scoring to see who's quick here in this first hot lap session. And red, Glenn Styers upside down again in corner number two. five for the lead out of corner number two as they go down the back stretch, door to door to door into corner number three for the lead. Fabio Oliveri about half a straightaway ahead of these guys. He better hope they get sorted out before they get there. Jonathan Ayrton being overtaken there for the third position, but look at this battle for the win. Jillian Hills for the first lap in the last few. She's going to lead at the strike. One more lap to go. And we see another first-time winner. We'll find out. Oh, troubles for Nick Massey in quarter two. He caught a bump, went up the track, and Jillian Hills edges ahead just lightly. He didn't lose an awful lot of speed, but he lost that car length that had really been helping him in three and four. It's a drag race to the finish, Greg. At the checkered flag, Jillian Hills picks up the winner. Oh, Newell just barely beats out. Jeremy May for fourth and Jonathan Aaron will complete the top five. We appreciate everybody's patience. Here she comes out of the number 32 car. How about a hand for your HRW Automotive Mini Stock one, uh, You got dinged at the start of that one. Got it back on the first yellow. Had a great battle with Nick here through the last few laps. Coming on the last lap, though, you bobbled at the bottom. He bobbled at the top, and you're able to get this one back here to victory lane. Yeah, as soon as I hit something three and four, I went in way too hard. I'm like, oh, I'm beat now. And I look up and I'm like, oh, good. He's feeling the pressure too. Great job. Who do you want to thank for a solid run here tonight, Jillian? I got to thank my dad a ton. He's put all the work into this car. I got, I don't have my stickers on the car yet. I got instant insulation and Epic Racewear helping me out this year. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. How about a hand for Jillian Hills, your HRW Automotive. So Bazine running outside of that group on the inside, but he's really only running about halfway up the racetrack. Whoa, he tries to come down, or Bill Bleach tries to come up, and they make contact on the front stretch. That could have been ugly, but here comes Bazine. Kept it straight. Now he's working past Lampin for the runner up position. Does he have anything for the 49 of Dave Bailey? Two laps. Turn left. three just about loops it. White flag is out. One more try for Mark Bazine to reel in leader Dave Bailey. They work it down into corner number one. One lap car in front of the leader. Trevor DeBoer looking for his podium finish. As Dave Bailey works into three and four down the bottom of the racetrack towards the checkered flag. Dave Bailey going to win race number two. Second week of the Thunderstock division. Beside in second. DeBoer hangs on to third over two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Your defending and reigning track champion with another feature win. But you know you keep winning like this, it won't be long before you get the Boo Birds out, but pretty solid run for you again. I mean, this car's just been ace for the past three seasons. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty awesome, even uh, through the adversity last week with the racetrack, and then tonight the racetrack's nice and smooth, but it's totally different, and we're still decent, so uh, that's good. <laughs> it looks like the 21 here might have something for us. He's been up here uh, the last two, or for his first two weeks, so we got our work cut out for us. Let's talk about Jim Lampman. He had a solid run, too. He was on the outside, pushing that metrics up beside you right through that last restart. Talk about your run there with Jim for the majority of that race. Uh, I just, I knew he was there. I was more worried about Billy because um, I figured Billy was on the bottom. Jim was on top where I wasn't, so kind of figured Jim was running his own deal up there and Billy down at the bottom. Solid night. Good start to your season, Dave. Yeah, um, we got some new sponsors this year I just need to thank. And, uh, oh, it's my son's birthday tonight. He's here with his friends for his birthday party, so... Uh, Happy birthday to him. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got Queenston and um, Transaxle, and now we got Transport Sales and Service on board too, as well as Jib. So we got to thank those guys. Pays off when you're winning all the time. How Pretty much the same pace for all these starts. This time, Brad Harry is with that 29 machine. He'll move to the inside in turn one. Here they come. Down the back stretch, part your leader by a car length over here. 
Byron Aaron looks down low in corner number three, coming to the white flag. One more time around as we can speedway, Leah Byron looking for career victory, number one in the great sprint. And Aaron is right there on the bottom side. They will bobble through corner number two, down the back stretch, and into three the final time. Oh, side by side, Heron's car bobbles, Liam Martin car bobbles, checkered flag, Liam Martin takes the win, Heron second, Costa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's out of the car. How about it for you? Wow, well, Liam, you had to survive through a couple of tough restarts there. You had to keep it straight. Talk about what it means for you to be in victory lane here in victory at Ash Weekend. What's that? You're allowed because it's your first time. I said, what an amazing job. You had to fight through a couple of restarts there. What does it mean to finally get one here at the track? Oh, this is just amazing. Second year. Um, second race, victory, it just means so much to me. I'm speechless. Track conditions obviously polar opposite of where they were last week. What were you thinking when you heard we were going to water the track rate for the feature? Um, I was um, going to wait it out, but um, see how the track was after that. But um, I know it was pretty dusty before, and it would have been slick. Tell these fans how old you are, Liam. I'm 15. 15, ladies and gentlemen, how about it for Liam Martin getting it done, his first ever. We've got ever. the HRW Automotive Mini Stocks lined up. We are going to hustle out of this one. We could not deny young Liam his first ever win to victory lane, though. We'll turn it up to you guys and get back to you in just a second. And many of the Turner family down there as well, a big part of. Two more circuits around for Dylan Westbrook to make it five in a row and bring him the 360 competition here at the Big O. And if anything, for Corey Turner tonight, it had to be a confidence booster for him. Absolutely, the driver of the 97 car doing a great job as one more lap around for Dylan Westbrook, and he did not hit that rut well in one and two. Managed to keep the car going one more time through three and four. Off a corner four, double checkers up. Dylan Westbrook wins again. Corey Turner second again. Mac Demand will complete the top three. Top two, the same as last week. Mac Demand improves his spot one more. He'll finish on the podium as well. I want to thank Lone Wolf Fireworks lighting up the sky, the official fireworks provider of Oshwikin Speedway. Lone Wolf Fireworks, you can check them out on Highway 54 in Middleport. You can also find them on Facebook and online. Lone Wolf Fireworks, the official fireworks provider of the Big O. D-Dub on the top wing to salute the fans as we get set to wrap up the night here. Down. Dylan, another solid run. That makes five straight for you in regular competition here in 360s. Uh, another solid run for you, but the track way different than it was last week. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, the car was real good. The track, we had to make a bunch of changes, and uh, I think we had it right on. Uh, the car was real good. I could run top, middle, low. It was uh, real good. Talk about the last run where Corey started showing nose on the outside. Could you see him up there, and did that make you uh, change your game plan at all? Uh, I just kind of kept on running the bottom, and I thought I heard him on on the outside of me, so I uh, kind of thought I'd better move up because he sounds like he's coming, so I moved up a bit and held him off. There he is, Dylan Westbrook, another solid run for D.